Hi guys, really exciting thing that happened today that I want to share with you is that I discovered that there is a greenhouse near my home. Now I have to tell you that almost all nurseries around where I live open April 1st. So the only places where I can check for succulents and cactuses are Home Depot, Lowe's or Walmart and I was really not happy with the choices. So I was researching and I found that Varner's Greenhouses in Niles, Michigan is open all through the year and that they recently got shipment of succulents. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go inside and show you what they have. Look at these guys, they're beautiful. Wow, I'm actually impressed with uh, some of the plants they have because I have never seen them at Lowe's or um, Home Depot. Um, and I think that prices are not too bad. Prices, let's see, 350. It's not too bad for this size. Oh wow, look at this. Three color. Jade, variegated jade, only three fifty. I paid mine so much more. Really good deal. <laughs> I have this one. Actually, gonna use this name to put the tag on mine. Mine is much bigger than last year. This is a Chaveria prolifica with a lot of pups. Really pretty. Ogreer, Topsy Turvy. Good morning. Most of them have tags, but there's few that don't. This is the one that caught my eye. I'm really thinking about getting this one. Look at how pretty it is. Kind of reminds me to Moonstone. It's just such beautiful color and has a pup growing in a flower. Really pretty. And it's quite big. Some more Echeverius here. Oh, this is a sedum. Jelly bean. Sedum. These are really good price. Um, they're ten dollars and you get quite a bit of plants in yeah. there for example you get this echeveria prolifica with pups you get um i think i forgot the name of this uh, sedum uh is it firestorm um there is black prince there is echeveria chroma there is another echeveria and another echeveria topsy-turvy sedum and a really cute pot so I think a lot of plants for ten dollars, really good deal. And there is a variety of different um, plants, so you can choose which one you would like better. They have some that have jade included, or that they have this little Mammillaria gracilis fragilis included. Uh, this one here, I forgot. It's a very is it Polydonis maybe? So really pretty. Then there is some bigger arrangements and these are $20. Wow, you get a lot here. But look at these big, big black prints with a pup, sedum. I think this is Booker Reptivaria. There is a Echeveria with a pup. And this looks like another black prince here. Another sedum, another pup of Echeveria chroma, string of pearls. This big Ionium, and then a cluster of some kind here. That's really, really a lot of plants for $21. You can see some other ones that are really cool. Or you can have a square looking pots. They are $18. Also packed with plants. I mean, look at these two Echeverias, this Senecio sedum, another sedum, Vera Higgins, Reptocedum, 
Chrysula, Black Prince, Echeveria prolifica. I mean, look at how many plants in this pot. Here are some more choices. These ones are a little bit more expensive for the size, but I think it's because of these pots. They kind of look decorative, so must be that that's the reason. Here I'm back to the individual plants. There is some Aeonium Kiwi, Aloe. All right, look at this. I've never seen this. It's really pretty. It's actually a Chrysula, like Silis. Uh, did not know that. Pink blush, Aloe. Look at the size of this cotyledon for three and a half dollars. Really nice. They have uh, this Euphorbianopia Tanzanian zipper plant, which I have a ton of. <laughs> um, this one is pretty rare. I have never seen it in Lowe's or Home Depot, only online. Uh, it's a type of Cullen Hoy. Really nice tree looking ogre's ear. Again, really good deal for three and a half dollars. And they have some cute spots. Look at that, guys. Different colors. There's some square ones as well. Maybe I'm gonna take a look at their pots too. This is really cool. I actually uh, found one of these on garage sale for only $3. They normally sell, as you can see here, for $16.99. And some of the nurseries are $20. Some of them, the cheapest you can find, I think it's Walmart, $10. Um, but it's really cool when you fill them up with some perviriums and handsome chicks and have them like hang out of these holes. So that's my plan to do this spring since I have that one from the garage sale. A lot of ferns here, hanging ferns. I do like to buy these. Every year I had them on my porch. The problem is that every year a bird family comes and makes a nest in them. And then I can't water them properly because I don't want to destroy their nest. And they will have little birds. And I even took picture one year of their little birds as they were growing before they start flying. They actually had two rounds of babies in these. So I don't know if I'm gonna get them this year. It gets really dirty and it's above my succulent. And look at these Trendescantia zebrinas that I propagated in water. Look at how huge they are. They're such a fast growers and they look beautiful in hanging baskets. So I came back from nursery and yes, I did buy something. So I'm gonna show you what I got. This $10 pot was too good of a deal to pass because it has so many plants in there. And even though I have some of these plants, there is this Echeveria prolifica that I don't have and I'm really excited to add. And there is few pups, one here and one over there. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Echeveria pro von Nuremberg. And then there is a little jade plant here. And there is two sedums. I forgot the name of this one. Then there is a little uh, string of pearls, which I also have, and another sedum up here. But the most important thing that I already pulled out of this pot is that there is these three big Echeveria black prints. I mean, that's such a good deal. I mean, look at the number of plants. There is these three Echeveria black prints that I already potted separately. Then there is that Echeveria prolifica, these two sedums, another sedum, Echeveria of Pearl von Nuremberg, and I still have this cute pot that I think I'm going to use, even though I'm, I re I'm really obsessed about having everything black and white, as you know. You know, uh, the problem is when you have a spouse that you're a subscriber, then they always know when you go to nursery or edit some plants, if you post your videos, so I might be in a little bit of trouble if he watches this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed the tour to the nursery. And if you are close to Notre Dame University in South Bend, Indiana, that's just minutes away, uh, go to Warner's Greenhouse and check out succulents. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <music>